You know, it's not uncommon for me to log on to social media and ask for book suggestions. For those of you who are avid readers, you get it. You know what it's like to hold a book in your hand and get lost, and then the satisfaction of reaching the end and taking a moment to reflect on the story. If you're not an avid reader, we challenge you to become one. You got it. With so many options and possibilities, why wouldn't you? Susan Elizabeth Cordell is the head of Youth Services at Dover Public Library, and that is Rosie Mujica, who is a library assistant. Thank you, ladies, for being yeah. with us this afternoon. Thank you for having us. Wonderful. So we're talking about the Winter Reading Challenge. Yes. What is that? You want to start? So similar to uh, the Summer Reading Challenge, the Winter Reading Challenge is to get people to continue reading throughout the year, give them a little incentive to keep reading by offering prizes that they can log their reading with the library, and we give them a, a reason to keep reading. So is this for certain ages? We keep it open to all ages. We ha offer a program for adults, a program for children, and a program for teens. So they're each in their own age bracket. Okay, so there's obviously a lot of benefits for kids to read. But I gotta rem admit, one of my favorite things growing up, when Zach was growing up, was <laughs> me reading to him. And that's a good thing, isn't it? It's wonderful, and the great thing about this program is you don't actually just have to read um, books. It can be audiobooks for our teens who, let's admit, teens don't like to read. Yeah, not so much, yeah. But we have graphic novels, mangas, all that counts in this. So it can be anything, really. We, we aren't picky, as long as it gets them reading. Yeah. And for those who don't know, what is a manga? A manga. So manga is, how would, how would you describe it's it? It's a, a type of graphic novel that's popular in Japan. Mm -hmm. They read them from uh, right to left instead of left to right, so the books are backwards. Oh, okay. So, so it's 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 not a comic book, it it is a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. yes. Is what it is. Okay. Yeah. So uh, in addition to uh, this challenge, there are a lot of other free programs that are stand that stand out at the library. We have story time, which we have those Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we have our Saturday program. So if you have a toddler, we have a toddler story time. If you have a baby, we have baby and me. And then on Saturdays, Rosie and another staff member, depending on the Saturday, they have Super Saturday. So if you have a kid that loves crafts, they can come and do a craft. And then if you have that kid that just loves to build stuff, on Sundays we have Build It. So they come and we just put stuff out and you can build to your heart's content. <laughs> You're interested in that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's just in our younger kids. But then mm -hmm. we have programs for our teens and tweens. Rosie leaves, which I, I, if I was a teen, I still would want to do it because I've always loved being crafty, but I'm not crafty myself. So Rosie does um, creative crafting. Mm -hmm. what, what did you do this week? We did sock snowmen this week. Oh, okay. <laughs> but she's so creative. She comes up with different things. And then she has her staple, which we have several kids that come every month just for that one program for her pearl beads. The pearler beads, yeah. Oh, wow, and this is all free? Yes, everything, everything is always do. free at the library. That's amazing. Now, some programs you do have to register for because we have to have enough supplies, we have to have enough space, there's, but most of the time it's just come in, enjoy yourself. Some of them, like the Saturday is 11 to two. Other times you drop in, you do it, you're done. Mm -hmm. We have programs for the adults too. Um, our adults this a couple weeks ago, they actually had a wine or vase class where you got to decorate it. That was a huge success. Hmm. We had like 12 people there for that one in just the first hour. So yeah. we have a lot of stuff. We have later this month a DIY, which if you don't know what that means, that means do it yourself, where people are going to come in and make homemade chicken noodle kits. So you could just add in the last ingredients, but it's going to be you add in oh, the, the, dry dr stuff. the dry stuff and then you add in the chicken later okay. and either the broth or the water depending on depending on your dietary ah. desires. Mm -hmm. and, and you brought up uh, your event on Saturday. That's to kick off the winter reading program? That is. Tell us about that. So we are doing a Mad Hatter tea party because our winter reading, every year the theme's a little different. Mm -hmm. And this year we're doing Alice in Wonderland. Oh my. Okay. And if you have been in the library recently, you know what it looks like, but come Saturday it's going to look a little different. And Rosie here has been our mastermind behind planning all the decorations, getting them all designed. She's literally, if you come in and you see something you like, this is who you need to thank. <laughs> Rosie's the one. I mean, I've tried to help her and she's like, I got it. I think I've done one thing. Oh my goodness. I think I've done literally one thing. I like, if anyone wants to thank anyone for looking gorgeous, 
send her candy flowers it's balloons. All it's all Rosie. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here, Rosie and Susan yes. Elizabeth. It sounds like a lot thank of fun so at the Dover Library.